Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Ohm's law and find out the answer for why current is represented by I and not C. So let's begin. Ohm's law states that the current I through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to voltage V across the two points if the resistance of that conductor remains constant. Point A and B are those two points and voltage across them is denoted by VAB. This is the conductor and current I is flowing through this conductor. From the statement, current is directly proportional to voltage V and R is the constant of proportionality. Therefore, Proportionality sign can be replaced by equality sign by adding the constant of proportionality in the equation that is nothing but resistance R. And now the equation modifies to V is equals to I multiplied by R where V represents the voltage, I represents the current and R represents the resistance. Now you may be thinking that why current is represented by I and not C. For that purpose, we have to go in history a little bit. The unit of current is Ampere. It was named after Sir Andre Ampere. He was a French physicist. He conducted many experiments at different magnitude of current. He called it intensity of current. When he published his work, they took I from the intensity of current and from then it became standard. From the Ohm's law, we can calculate the voltage in volts, the current in amperes and the resistance in Ohm. For the sake of simplicity, the voltage, current and resistance are arranged in a particular manner in the triangle shown. For finding out the voltage, we have to just cover the voltage and write down the remaining terms with the sign in between them. Therefore, V is equals to I times R. Similarly, for finding resistance R, to cover the resistance and write down the remaining terms that is V divided by I. Therefore, to find out resistance in Ohm, the equation is R is equals to V divided by I. Similarly, to calculate current in Ampere, we have to cover I. Therefore, the remaining terms are V divided by R and the equation becomes I is equals to V by R. Therefore, in this video, we have seen the basics of Ohm's law and why current is represented by I and not C. Thank you very much. If you find out this video to be interesting, stay tuned to this channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.